guys, what's up? It's me, Catherine, and today we're going to talk about how to start an acting career with no experience. This is a question I get asked a lot. A lot of you guys want to be actors if you're not an actor already. It's a lot of fun. A lot of you guys are nervous that you either have no experience or very little and you want to learn how to bulk up your resume, how to become a professional, stuff like that. So let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name's Catherine Steele and I put out a new theater related video on every theater Thursday plus I do bonus uploads throughout the week. If you haven't already and you'd like to go ahead and hit subscribe that way you get notified for all future videos and you get to join the theater Thursday fam. If you want to follow me on social media at Kath underscore steel, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. Ooh, so let's get into this. Now, I know that a lot of you guys want to get an agent. For those of you who don't know, an agent is the person who kind of acts as a middleman between the people making a movie or casting a play and the actors. So an agent basically gets you an audition with these people. However, I have tons of professional working actor friends who do not have agents, myself included. I've done professional work on stage and on screen you don't necessarily need an agent, but it makes it a lot easier, especially if you do want to do primarily commercial TV movie stuff. Caveat here, most agents won't take you on if you don't have experience. So let's talk about how to get experience. Best way to start out, audition for the school play. Audition for community theater. Does your church or synagogue have a choir? Sign up for it. Can you take dance PE at school? Do that. These things are all free or at least relatively free, and it's a great way to kind of get your foot in the door when it comes to performing. And even though it's not a lot or anything fancy, having something on your resume for your first audition definitely helps. Another great thing to do is to get some actual training. And by this, I mean taking dance classes, take voice lessons. Pretty much every singer that you've ever heard and you've liked, they've had vocal coaching at some point in their lives. The one in a million singer that doesn't have any vocal training is like a statistic anomaly, but they're also running the risk of really damaging their voice. Acting classes are great too, especially if you're really new to the acting scene. Take audition workshops. For you guys who are really, really interested in just screen acting, still do theater. And here's why. Theater is a great way to get experience. It's so hard to book an on-screen job with no acting experience. No one wants to work with a newbie. And it's not out of meanness or trying to kick you out before you even get started. It's because running something on set, like filming something, Thing is really expensive. Like really expensive. So dealing with someone who isn't prepared in the sense that they've never acted before and they don't really know how to behave either on stage, on set, what have you, it's losing money for them. This is such a good resource and so few people do it. Talk to the film majors or filmmakers at your school. Definitely a high possibility that those people need actors for their projects. This is a great way to kind of learn what it's like to be on set, but in a low pressure environment. In that same vein, try to get some extra work. One of my first on-screen gigs was being an extra on MTV's Faking It. And that was a ton of fun. I learned so much from that experience. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to talk about being an extra. The best way to make a good impression on a teacher, a casting director, is to be educated. How do you do this? By doing research. There is a ton of information on this. You've got textbooks, magazines, magazines, articles, YouTube channels like the one you're watching right now. Bow! That's why I exist. I want to help you guys out with this kind of stuff. So go check out some of those videos. I'll leave a playlist down below. Give that a watch if you want to learn more. So there you guys go. Those are my top tips on how to start an acting career with no experience. If you like this video or it helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe. My face should be floating around here. You can click on that or you can click down below. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope this was helpful. Break a leg. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Why do I look like an anime schoolgirl?